Hello everyone. Welcome back once again to my channel USA Immigration and Visa. Today we are going to discuss top 5 F1 visa interview tips for low GPA student success. Let's start the video. Preparing for the F1 visa interview can feel like a grueling challenge, particularly for students with a low GPA or limited scholarships. Having low scores on your previous education, IELTS, TOEFL tests, or SAT GRE GMAT does not mean that you will not receive your U.S. student visa. Success isn't solely determined by these factors. It's about mastering the interview process and shining a light on your unique qualities and aspirations. So, what are the key strategies to use to ensure you succeed in your F1 visa interview? Let's dive right in. 1. Highlight your potential and passion. Although you might have a low GPA, don't forget that numbers aren't everything. Visa officers are interested in seeing your potential and passion for your chosen field. Show your enthusiasm for your course of study and discuss how it aligns with your career goals. Mention what you have prepared to study this course in the U.S. For instance, a question might be, why did you choose this course? A compelling response could be, despite my average performance in high school, my passion for environmental science never waned. I have been active in my town environmental conservation through activities such as planting new trees and cleaning garbage. I believe this major will provide the foundational knowledge through its rigorous courses and hands-on knowledge through internship and volunteering opportunities at the university. With these knowledge and skills, I am confident that I can contribute to environmental conservation efforts in my home country in the future. 2. Leverage your extracurricular activities. Another efficient way to compensate for a low GPA is to discuss your extracurricular activities. Whether you're involved in sports, volunteering, or a club, each experience equips you with transferable skills and demonstrates your dedication to personal development. If you have won medals on any competition or sports tournament, mention it because it will let the visa officer know that you have good team work and leadership skills. Let's say you're asked, how have you demonstrated leadership? You might answer, in my 12th grade, I led our community service club in organizing a major fundraising event for malnourished children. This not only taught me the essence of leadership but also the importance of teamwork and effective communication. Moreover, I have been an active member of Lions Club in my town where I have participated in various activities such as cancer awareness program, blood donation program and more. 3. Discuss your financial plan. With limited scholarships, you'll need to convince the visa officer that you have a solid financial plan to fund your education. Highlight your family's support, savings, or any part-time job you plan to take on. Mention the approximate amounts in U.S. dollars that your sponsor earns annually through their income sources such as employment, real estate, stocks and bonds, business etc. For example, in response to the question, how will you fund your education, you could say, while I have not received a scholarship, my family has set aside funds for my education. We have a saving of around $40,000 in Global Investment Bank. My father is a managing director of company and he earns $30,000 annually. My mother is a marketing manager in New Goods Supermarket and she earns $15,000 annually. Moreover, we have two real estate properties which we have rented out and earn around $10,000 annually. Therefore, I am confident that I have a strong and steady financial support for my adduction in the USA. 4. Demonstrate ties to your home country. One of the critical aspects of the F-1 visa interview is demonstrating strong ties to your home country. Visa officers need to be convinced that you'll return after your studies. Discuss your family, a job offer, or a business opportunity waiting for you at home. If asked, what are your plans after graduation, a potential response could be, once I complete my degree, I intend to return home and apply the skills I've acquired to benefit my community, specifically by initiating an environmental conservation project. I want to work in a government's environment conservation department as an environmental specialist and work in the environment conservation projects such as water recharge, proper irrigation to agricultural land and more. 5. Show your perseverance. Remember, every cloud has a silver lining. 
Your low GPA and limited scholarships can be spun into a story of resilience. You've persevered despite the odds and have not given up on your dream. This is a quality that will impress visa officers. If asked, why should we grant you the F1 visa, you could respond, despite my academic challenges, I've remained dedicated to my passion for learning and committed to my career goals. I view this opportunity as a stepping stone to better myself and eventually contribute positively to society. 6. Preparation is key. Rehearse common F1 visa interview questions and tailor your responses to emphasize your strengths and future plans. The more you practice, the more confident you'll be, even with challenging questions. Good preparation helps you to understand the complete picture of your visa interview and your case, therefore, it enables you to tackle even the cross-questions asked by visa officers smoothly. Here's the deal, your GPA and the amount of scholarship money you've received are just part of the bigger picture. Keep your eyes on the prize and remember that your dream of studying in the U.S. is within reach if you prepare thoroughly, highlight your unique strengths, and articulate your future plans. Key points 1. Highlight your potential and passion. 2. Leverage your extracurricular activities. 3. Discuss your financial plan. 4. Demonstrate ties to your home country. 6. Show your perseverance. 7. Preparation is key. It's all about showing visa officers that you're more than your GPA or your scholarships, but rather, a dedicated student with a well-constructed plan to succeed in the U.S. and contribute positively to your home country upon your return. Point to note. It's not just about your academic performance or financial standing, it's about you as a whole. Your passion, your ambitions, and your dedication play pivotal roles in this process. The key is to navigate the interview with confidence, showcasing your strengths and potential. Use these tips to shine a light on your perseverance, your plans for financial stability, and your strong ties to your home country. Remember, the interview is a platform to demonstrate that you are more than just your grades, you're a future changemaker eagerly waiting to turn challenges into opportunities. So, prepare well, practice your responses, and enter the interview with a positive mindset. Believe in yourself, and you're halfway there. The journey to studying in the US is an exciting one, and with these tips in mind, you're well on your way to making it a reality. That's all in this video. I hope the information in this video to get success in US visa interview. See you in next video.